Out of my way, stranger. What are you doing that for? Keep your hands to yourself. Watch what you're doing. Anyone who's played Skyrim VR out the box knows it is not a complete game. It is completely unimmersive and it is a terrible port. And uh, Bethesda have done nothing to fix this, but the modern community have. And about two years ago, I made a guide which showed you exactly how to mod this game using Vortex and using Nexus mods to make it immersive, to make it feel like you are in the game and to complete the game for Bethesda. Now, whilst this video was quite successful and helped a lot of people, I have noticed in the last six months or so, some people have been having difficulties. And that can only be down to Skyrim having updates and also the mods themselves having updates. So here I am again, I'm gonna go through the process again, but this time I'm gonna be a lot clearer and hopefully I'll be able to help you guys. I have had a few comments saying, we need an updated version of this video for 2024. Guys, here it is. So without any further ado, let's go. Now I want to be clear, we are gonna delete Skyrim and all of its files and we're gonna start from scratch. So reinstall Skyrim, make sure you do not reinstall the Skyrim script extender, just install Skyrim. Now make sure you delete any associated folders, especially folders which may have mods in them. We are starting fresh. If you wanna carry over your save file, you can do so, but it may cause a conflict if there are previous mods associated with that save file. Now, once you have the Skyrim VR base game installed, I recommend running it at least once, starting a new game, and yes, I'm sorry. That does mean that you've got to sit through this again for the hundredth time. Look at those, those feet, man. What's wrong with your toes? They're all stuck together. I know, right? You this see it as well, happening. don't you? So now that we've started Skyrim without mods, we have a new install and a new game. You can see just how goddamn janky this game is. I am a pair of floating hands. My floating hands do not interact with anything in the game. I cannot pick things up. I cannot interact with things. I cannot use my weapons to hit signs or to hit people. I can't grab people. I can't, I can't really do anything that you would expect in a VR game. It is poor so we're gonna fix all of those things so guys we're gonna head over to nexus mods we're gonna make ourselves an account it is free so do not worry and once we have a nexus account we are going to search for vortex mod manager and uh, it's gonna have some dependencies one is the dotnet frame so we're gonna install that dotnet frame and we're gonna install vortex now with Vortex installed, we are going to run it. Now when you first launch Vortex, it's going to show you a selection of video tutorials. These are helpful to watch, but don't worry about them for the time being. We're going to head over to games and we're going to select Skyrim VR and we're going to select manage Skyrim VR and that's going to allow us to add our mods to this game. And when I push the mods button, I can see that I don't have any mods installed, but all I need to do is drag and click them into the bottom window. And we're gonna do that shortly. Now we're gonna head over to the Nexus Mods website and we're gonna select Skyrim Special Edition. So it's very important you choose this one because VR Skyrim is managed by Skyrim Special Edition mods. So once we've clicked there, you're gonna see a whole plethora of mods. Do be careful guys because there are a lot of nudity mods here and there is no censorship on this website so I'm going to have to block some of this window out. Now the first immersion mod we are going to install is VRIK and that's going to give us a full body. We'll be able to look down and see our legs and we will no longer be a floating pair of hands. Now this mod has some requisites and one of them is the Skyrim script extender. So if we click that and we head over to the website, we are looking for the Skyrim VR version. Now be very careful and make sure you select the correct version. Let that download. And then we're gonna head over to the next prerequisite, which is Sky UI. Keep a close watch on what I am clicking on to make sure you are downloading the 
correct files. Uh, they're both going to come as a 7-zip. Don't worry, you don't need 7-zip in order to extract this. We are going to leave these files as they are. We're going to drag them onto our desktop. And then from there, we're going to drag them into Vortex Mods. And Vortex Mods will take care of the rest. Now, making sure we are in the mod section for Skyrim VR, we are going to drag these files into this bottom window, which is going to upload them to our mod manager. We're going to click the install button, which pops up on the right. And then on the left, we're going to select enable mod. Now, you don't have to push the install button right away. You can actually just drag all your mods in place and you can install them using the left button if you so wish. Now, those are the two main prerequisites for most mods that you're going to find for Skyrim VR. So you're not going to have to do that process again. And we're going to head over to the mod VRIK and we're going to download. And then this time we're not going to choose manual. We're going to choose Vortex and that is going to automatically install it onto Vortex. Now, if this doesn't work for you automatically, don't worry. Just make sure that you are logged into your Nexus website account and when you run Vortex, it will link them together. It will ask you the permission and it will link them together. Now, this part's very important, guys. We're just going to test out VRIK for the time being. But if you look at the top left, you'll see Skyrim. Click that button and it's going to launch it with all the mods which you have installed so far. So let's have a look at VRIK. Also, guys, very important. Make sure that you have your Oculus or your VR headset turned on and in PC VR mode before you start this game modded. And here we can see I have full arms. I have a full body. I can look down on my body. I am more immersively invested in this game. And it's really as simple as that, guys. So we've got VRIK. The next mod we need to install is the Plank mod. And the next mod after that is the Higgs mod. And anything apart from that is going to be just for fun. But those three are vital. The Plank mod and the Higgs mod are going to allow you to interact with items, pick them up, throw them at people, grab people, do whatever you want, really. If you kill an enemy, you can take their armor off without opening windows. You just yoink it up. These are all the mods that I would recommend for full immersion, but there are many, many more that you can explore. All I will say is that these four definitely work together without any conflicts. Some may have conflicts. You'll be able to see them in your uh, mod manager. Keep an eye on that. And apart from that, enjoy guys. Now on to troubleshooting. If you play the game and you're having issues such as the screen blacking out or the game not starting, always look at your mod list and see if they are up to date. Go to the mod, you can click on it and you can update it. Sometimes the mod developers will be a little bit behind Skyrim's releases. If that's the case, just disable that mod, wait until the developers of the mod uh, catch up and that's it. So guys, I really hope this updated tutorial has been helpful for you, especially for those who have been struggling with 2024 and some of the latest updates. Always drop a comment, let me know your experience, and I really hope you enjoy this game. If this tutorial has been helpful for you, think about dropping a sub or a like. It always helps the channel out. And hey, you know, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.